Welcome back to part 42 of my meowing let's play Total War Warhammer 3. So picking things up, we left them last time. We're about to dive into the Garden of Nurgle to face the gardener himself and take his soul. We've got our one dragon lady army uh, lass herself, Meow Ying, the storm dragon with her army. And we've got plenty of reinforcements. Pretty solid force. Don't think we're going to have too much problem here. Let's dive on in and smash some Nurglings. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. I am kind of disappointed that the garden doesn't turn up with a, like a massive shovel, axe or blade. I think that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> my big old war, my war spade. Fear the mighty war spade of, of the gardener. The mansion of the plague lord. The crooked manor of Nurgle. None would survive crossing its threshold. But the gardener will come as soon as we trespass upon its outer defenses. Capture the canker tree in the Garden of Blight. This will give you a foothold and grant us supplies to reinforce for the struggle ahead. There are two other trees you will need to claim and so dominate the battle. Nurgle is amused you have made it this far. Slay his servants and ensure he will not mock you again. Yeah, that's a task for the mod community. Someone someone make me a, a shovel, please. <laughs> someone make me a, a, a shovel that you can equip for the Demon Prince. Right. Let's do it. Cavalry, Cavalry aka Horseburgers. Over here, please. Um, artillery... Go over here and shoot him straight away, please. Now, Ying. Let's send you to clear all of them up, probably to start with. And we've got the artillery. Chill, chill, chill. Crossbowmen. Crossbows. Go in from here. Dragon guard. With three dragon guard. <clears throat> and then Where three more the here with Stand you lot. Else die apart. There we go. Oh, yeah. And you, Tim. Go over here. Meet him? No, you, Tim. Jade planters. Immediately. Move as wind. March in ordered ranks. Go, go, go. Love that sky jump. Look at all that damage. So they have now added, once you complete a Realm of Chaos, uh, I think it was the 1.1 update, there is actually a, a reward. Um, it's a, a modifier buff. That gives you like extra growth public order for, for a few turns. So yeah, they and also if you complete the quest, if you complete this quest battle in each realm, facing the uh, the demon prince of each of the chaos gods then you also lose all the negative traits straight away rather than having to wait at your uh, provincial capitals for it to clear up so that those are some solid changes that came in in 1.1 I do feel like they're, if it was somehow possible to make these uh, these battles a little bit more, have a bit more variety or something, just because after you've done them one, they do, maybe it's because I'm, like, I'm four campaigns deep in Warhammer 3 now, but I am starting to be like, oh, I really don't want to fight these, but then I, the 
I guess the completionist in me and, and from like a let's play perspective I'm like I feel like I have to show the these set piece battles because they're a, kind of a key part to the story right so it feels a bit weird not to show them but after a while it's just exactly the same every time I mean it's the same with the vortex but it, I don't feel like the vortex is required. March for the, um, the vortex the campaign uh battle missions. I don't think they felt necessarily as repetitive. Maybe it's because they weren't as long. These are all big, long survival battles. It'd be nice if there was maybe a bit more variety to it somehow, but obviously that's quite a big undertaking, I guess, to uh, change that all up. do is we'll have the grand cannon there and we'll have the rockets there sky junk back there you know ying go up here you tim go there you guys go across there crane gunners across there we'll have that as a blocker Reinforcements can I get? I get some J Yeah, we won't bother with them. Nope, nope, nope. Do we even need a tower back here? Nah, let's go for one. One over there and one over here. So I'm not gonna use the units right now. I'll probably just buff up everyone's uh armor or missile stuff. The demons are here. No pox riders. Get splatted. Well, they're all coming in from over this way. Slow them down. Dragon Guard. Marching as one. Wing and fire. Move in formation. Minds as one. Move as wind. Okay, you guys can move up there a bit. Up the talons in. Three, two, one. It's going to suck them in. Strike them down. There we go. Changed it. His uh, oh, he get he. I think he gets. Does he get that from the war comms, or is it, he's just got some items for those? And they definitely changed the war compasses so that they don't have a. They don't use up the shared pool winds of magic. They use them as abilities, which is I think a good improvement. Makes them more more worthwhile using. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Solid talons. Lovely. The storm unleashed. Which 
richness their demise. Execute them! Gyron's fury! Dragon God! Praise the dragons! Mistress of storms! The storm wind blows! Wind and fire! Oh, you're out of uh, you're out of rocket ammo. Let's restock you. Here. across Sentinel, come across there, please. Bring him down. For the Emperor. They're nearly all done here. Thanks, Drew. Appreciate it. <laughs> Glad you like the beard. Let's burn all down. Set by Gyran. Never conquered. Marching as one. Rain gunners. Take him out. The storm dragon. I think we can all tell what my favorite spell is. <laughs> Smash those nurglings. Go, go. Guided by ancestors. Three, two, one. Drop bomb. We're positioning. Restore order. Nurgling's still running on through. Crane gunners. Nice. First wave dealt with. Uh, what campaign is that? This one that we're doing right now, Jason. This is our cafe campaign. Meow Ying. Right, so we've got to move up there. They're coming to us. Restock your ammo. Restock your ammo. Heal you guys. Stock yours. Jade Lancers, move as wind. It pleases the dragons. They come all out. The celestial faithful. March in ordered ranks. Move in formation. Turn them it all around. It pleases the dragons. Sent by Shenyang. Sent by dragons. Move them all up. Here we go. Jade Lancers. But I think the new factions compared to older ones don't seem to have anything as crazy as Torox, for example. Yeah, I mean, I think I feel like Torox was um, in terms of like interesting faction mechanics it's kind of like peak from what i understand the team that did the warhammer 2 dlc team wasn't involved in the development of warhammer 3 at all they've now i believe taken over the patching and future development of the game which honestly is probably the best move ca can make because they understood i think they arguably understand the the state of the series better than the, the team that made the main game. At least that's how it how it feels in terms of 
community reaction to it. Like everyone's pretty pretty happy that um I think it's, is it Richard Aldridge heads up that team. Um, they all seem to be pretty happy that Rich and his team are, are sorting it out now and on on the case as such. Um, I, I think it is a, is a shame that they weren't involved in Warhammer 3 because there's a lot of discrepancies between really positive improvements and changes that were made in the last like six to 12 months of Warhammer 2's life cycle with its DLC and extra content that have been like discarded or just not you know, it's a very different kind of thought process compared to what was done in that in that Warhammer 2 DLC and and uh, the approach to that and, and some of the free updates and stuff. And it just it just shows that it was yeah, I guess different different visions for what they wanted to do because it was different teams, which I think was a mistake. I think it, they should have had more of that. I, I appreciate they couldn't have had the DLC team doing the DLC and working on Warhammer 3, but I think there should have perhaps been more cross consultation between the two i think that would have meant that we would have you know i think more people would, would have been happy with what was uh what was done at launch but yeah i think i think what i think it will be i don't think it will be unlikely that at some point in warhammer 3's life cycle some of these base game factions will get some kind of overhaul and tweak to their mechanics because some of them definitely need it. Some of them not so much. Um, I mean, maybe that's why CA didn't kind of worry about it too much because they were like, we'll, we'll be we'll be bringing in additional content and we'll have an opportunity to kind of set this right or alter it at some point in the future. So maybe that's that's the, the approach that they were, you know, thinking about it with. Um, Wind and fire. March in order, Rex. But yeah, I'm, I I don't really have any concerns about what the, the future gathers. of Warhammer 3 is going to be like in terms of DLC. And I think we are Lord only going to see more interesting Jesus. and unique faction mechanics Naturally. as time goes on. Because, uh, yeah, I, th I think like Torox is probably like a really good... Uh, a really good one to uh, to highlight just because it yeah it literally created like brand new provinces and had such a an interesting multi multi-featured mechanics for his faction really set himself apart and made and made beastmen okay it was part of the part of beastmen overhaul as well but it was just such an interesting update to play and he was such a fun character to play and a very different playstyle. So, yeah, I'm very excited to see what the future brings because I think it will be good. A fresh onslaught. Sent by if it's dragons. anything like what they do with Major Warhammer 2, which it should be. For the Emperor. Very the promising, hopefully. Um, we need to select this one if we want reinforce. Can I get anything good here? Get some more Dragon Guard. Two of them there. And two of them across that. Seeking cafes foes. Marching as one. Any games for Paradox? Yeah, I play Crusader Kings. Um, that's my main my main one, Crusader Kings 3, I would say. Uh, I actually am kind of tempted to revisit Solaris at some point in the not too distant future. Just because uh, I've got that, I've got that spacey itch. Dragon crossbows. Rooting out evil. Defenders of Kate. Marching as one. I want some of the ancestral warriors. Actually, we'll save that right for the end. Set by dragons. Repositioning. The storm dragon. Test begins. For the Emperor. Move as wind. Crossbowman. 
so many enemies coming on in. Our crane gun is in the new update. Uh, it's broken, they can delete complete infantry before they get close. They're a bit OP now. What did they actually change to, to them? Did they change their missile damage or reload rate or something like that? What was the actual change to crane gunners? Flies to go in and save them. green uh, catlam what if, uh icon that's when you heal up a unit or use one of the abilities without hesitation ring in harmony heavens await seeking cathay's balls oh they can penetrate now they've got more on piercing damage high accuracy in their bullets why why do they feel the need to buff them that much were they i mean cathay already has like the celestial dragon guard crossbowmen's aren't aren't shy they're they're solid was Cathay really struggling that much? I give a scent. So be it. Crane gunners. Shield breaker. Armor piercing. What is it? What's, this, what's the breakdown of that? Armor piercing is 37. Praise the dragon. I mean, I, I think they perhaps may, maybe needed a little bit of a bump. I did at times in this campaign notice that I was like, oh, I was expecting them to do a bit more and they, I, don't, I felt like they were maybe just a bit too slow or something like that. I think in the patch notes, CA said they wanted to make them a bit more like Giselles, i.e. more powerful. They just cranked everything up to like 11. Oh, it was behind in multiplayer, right. Okay, we'll have to, with the rest of this campaign, we'll have to, uh, I've been dismissing them a little bit because I find them a bit too slow for all the, all the damage I wanted to, to get out of them. But if they've done that, then yeah, they're probably a bit more versatile, a bit more useful. All right, I'm just going to do a, I can't do a blanket wide heal. Some of you guys need some healing. Making our way through the garden fairly well. Uh, probably gonna need some ammo replenishment. All yeah, right. Broken battery. Order and balance. Send my ying over there. Jade Lancers. You're not Jade Lancers. You are. You are crossbows. Go home, Dragon Guard, you're drunk. Guided by ancestors. Seeking Cathay's foes. Xinyang's faithful. Disengaging. The Celestial Faithful. March in Move on up. I think Lady Larnhart must have just got the cakes out of the oven that she's doing today. They smell great. Om nom nom nom. Sentinel. Forward you go. Is that everybody moved? Apart from my... You know what actually I'm going to do with the cow? I'm going to withdraw you for your own safety. Because I'm not going to use you right now. 
So off you go. We shall withdraw. Jade planters. Why are you guys not? Why aren't you withdrawing into safety? I'm trying to save the cavalry. Why wouldn't you go away? We seek new foes. Trees stop them somehow. Okay. Well, there's the great unclean one. Absolutely munched. For the Stone and steel. Ready to defend. I hear the heaven. Mistress of storms. Dragon God. Cavalry. Understood. Hey Jason. Zero zero dot two three one zero zero dot three two zero dot. Sorry, baby, stole the keyboard. <laughs> that seems like a fairly coherent, just like a good long, long swipe along the top of the keyboard. All the, all the numbers. GG, baby. Her part's not a coordinated enough to type out anything. Even remotely close to that. I'll probably just do like a. He likes smashing my spacebar whenever I, I've like got him on my lap while I'm trying to edit some videos or something like that. Oh, she got the number pad. Baby got the number pad. Clever baby. <laughs> right, we're on the final round. Probably doing this fit pretty quickly, this one. Where's my artillery still hanging back there? Come on. Guided by ancestors. Order and balance. We need to do a lot of healing, although I think it, it most of it's going to be better to withdraw them. You guys can heal. You can heal. Yeah, you're taking way too long. I'm going to send you back. Because you're taking too long. Repositioning. Dragon guard. Dragon guard go there. We've infinite pride. Crossbows go there. March in ordered ranks. Dragon crossbows. Oh crap! They're coming through quicker than I could deploy. Not good, not good, not good. It's a nice big mace, but it'd be cool if it was a shovel. Just catch them in time. Setting for repositioning. Sit down, sends us. Dragon guard. Defend the realm. Strike them down. My power. Pop everything. Watching as 
right, let's get some reinforcements, shall we? Uh, what do we fancy? More Dragon Guard. More Crane Gunners. Some Terracross Sentinels. She's absolutely annihilating the Gardener. Need to be pretty, just needs to be done. The storm wind blows. Celestial sorcerer, the heavens unleashed. Come on, take him out. All these pox flies. He's down. Ready to defend. noise dragon guard it pleases the dragon everything. Barely enough time to do it all. Yeah, they're going fast now. Just these guys over here. Part of the wave. Two minutes. I think that's perhaps my fastest round for this one Mistress so far. I should probably compare that at the, at the end of all these first round of campaigns. Maybe I should just compare how long it took me in each of my campaigns to do the. Uh... Mind is ready. Of course. 
do all the survival battles. I wonder how the Chaos Invasion in Immortal Empires will work. Will Warriors of Chaos, Demon Prince, Korn, Nurgle, Sunesh, Zinch, all join forces within the invasion figures? I think so. Warriors of Chaos are their own faction. Stay that way. Yeah, so I, th I think perhaps it'll just be they will come on in and invade. Maybe they'll just be... Maybe they just won't declare war on any of the Chaos factions. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Time for the advisor to collect another soul. The husk of the guard. Oh, that's <laughs> a great unclean one just falling over in the background. Nice. Bing, bada, boom. Score of 4,846. I wish there was a way of this to like link into your Steam friends list so you could immediately see on this page like a few of your friends scores to kind because I don't know like is 4,846 good? You know, it'd be nice to have like that link to a, a built in dashboard of your Steam friends or something like that that you could see right here and now and it would pause with a continue button. So you can have a look through people, people's uh, score. Uh, we will take. We've got plenty of money. We will take venerate. I mean, we say we've got plenty. We've got good income. Let's take replenishment no when we get back. So, Belacor has rebuilt his throne of old. But to what purpose? He has no followers, no army. Even the Chaos Gods abandoned him. <laughs> Does something amuse you? You sit in your little chair. But what power do you really wield? Hidden away, deep. This forge hidden. Your roar was felt across the world. A god's carrion will attract powerful scavengers. Let them come. The essence of the slain will be repurposed into an army. It cannot be. Belacor controls the Forge of Souls. He intends to build an army of the most twisted manifestations. Soul Grinders. Your Chaos Masters will not allow it. I have no masters! The Chaos Gods are forbidden to enter here. Be silent while we wait. Wait for what? For you to die. And it's triggering the Warhorse mounts here. Yeah, we'll need to change all them back. Eternal stench has been removed. Good, good. Lovely. A third soul now lies pettered in the pages of my book. Yet Belakor, previously consumed by his own machinations, now strikes out at the threats arrayed against him. Gears turn in the Forge of Souls once more. And the Dark Master sends forth armies of soul grinders under his command. We must be ready, for they will surely come against us. Done, done, done. Oh yeah, I forgot we went in Ogre territory. That's actually good though, because Meowian can go straight into Grease of Skulls. Ooh, maybe you don't want to do that though. That is a That is a nasty army. Uh-oh. Can we uh, escape out the other way? We're not 
quite a full strength. That is a that is a solid force he's got. So horn harpoon launches. We do have a lot of missile troops. I stand apart. Uh, I'm not sure. No one tells what is it? What does it reckon? Do. Balance power is, I would say, slightly in their in their favour. Yeah, he is an absolute boss. I think we'll decide what we do with that next episode. Either we go and hit Greece or we try and pull back here to replenish a little bit. And then go after him. And we get the rest of our forces together. Um, Realm Chaos, we get the boon. Plus 15 growth, plus 8 control, minus 5 corruption, and plus a 10% income from all buildings. So that's pretty nice. We're bringing in uh, Zhao Ming, the Iron Dragon, down to help one out. So we're swapping these armies around. This one's going to go up to the wall to help out Dragon Warrior Poe. Hmm. I am kind of tempted to just go into Greece, as, but at the same time, I don't really want to lose her army after all that. But we'll decide next time. Until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take Prime to the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclocks UK. For the next one, ciao for now.